morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. The path to the 2023 NFC West title got a little bit easier for the Niners over the weekend. And one guy I thought was a shoe in to return may be playing for another team in 2023. We'll start with the most 49ers-related news, which takes us to this report from Aaron Wilson of KPRC in Houston. Apparently, center Jake Brendel is going to have multiple teams interested in him once the legal tampering begins later today. Wilson reports that the Texans and at least two more teams in the AFC, in addition to the 49ers, of course, will kick the tires on Jake Brendel. And as good as he was last season, who even knew who Jake Brendel was before the year began? I know that center is an important position on the offensive line, but I think the Niners have been grooming someone like Jason Poe or Nick Zakel to take that spot this season. I do not expect them to get in a bidding war for Jake Brendel, even if he was a Pro Bowl alternate. One player the 49ers are re-signing, however, is veteran safety to Sean Gibson. According to the 33rd team, Gibson and the Niners agreed to a one-year deal Of course, we all know by now, Gibson took Jimmy Ward's spot when Ward was hurt, ended up starting all 17 games last season. Clearly, they valued him a ton, and he is now back in the fold with the Niners for 2023. In broader NFC West news, the Rams continued their rebuild by sending all-pro cornerback Jalen Ramsey to the Miami Dolphins for a third-round pick and tight end Hunter Long, whoever the hell that is. Ramsey and the Rams didn't exactly pose a problem for the Niners in head-to-head matchups, But L.A. definitely looks to take a step backwards this year after winning 60% of their games over the last five seasons. That really only leaves Seattle as a viable threat in the division, and they still have plenty to prove in the Geno Smith area, including whether they can actually beat the 49ers after going 0-3 last year. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Monday. There's an article in NBC Sports Bay Area about how Brock Purdy's surgery could be a, quote, blessing in disguise because all that rehab Brock's going to have to do could result in his arm and his mechanics being better than they were before. Personally, I think that's a bunch of crap. But if you want to check it out and decide for yourself, you can head there and let me know what you think. One thing to watch, all hell is going to break loose today at 9 a.m. Pacific time when the legal tampering period begins. All of the top free agents will somehow miraculously agree to deal shortly after that, somehow negotiating them all within minutes of the supposed start of free agency. Look for guys like Mike McGlinchey to announce their new teams quickly. Do not look for the 49ers to make any big moves today. As tempting as it is, they just don't have the cap space to do any big splashes. Keep in mind, though, most of these team signing guys still won't have a better player at that position than the 49ers already have right now. One thing you may have missed, Odell Beckham Jr. held a pro day workout on Friday for NFL teams. The Niners were one of the handful of clubs in attendance, although Beckham is supposedly seeking $20 million a year. So there ain't no way in hell he going to the Niners for that. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow both the Gold Standard and Niners Nation podcast networks. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk tomorrow.